Hello everyone, welcome to my Starry Studio. My name is Callum Graham and I've just received these brand new beautiful amplifiers from TC Helicon. This one here is the Harmony V60 and this one here is the Big Brother. This is the Harmony V100, 100 watts and 60 watts. They're both two channel amplifiers and I'm going to be making a little review video for you today. Here is the Harmony V60, and my first initial thought when taking it out of the box was, wow, it looks really rad. They did a great job with the design. I love how it's kind of a retro yet modern look. I love the tweed, and especially the wood paneling on the sides. Really nice touch, as well as the layout of the buttons and knobs at the back. Everything is really clear and colorful and clean and crisp and classy. I also really like how they went with the Tannoy concentric speaker. It really sounds amazing when I first plugged it in. It was love at first drum and you'll hear it for yourself here soon. And also, you can't really see it, but underneath the tweed there's a tweeter, or tweeter, you might say. <laughs> There's an on-off switch at the back for that, and when it's engaged, it's actually tilted up at an angle towards you so that you can hear it while you're sitting or standing, which is great because it removes the need for an amp stand to tilt your amp back. So you don't have to worry about doing that to hear what the audience hears. You just simply set it on the floor like so, turn on the tweeter, and you're good to go. So you can leave your amp stand at home. One less thing to bring to a gig, which is great. As well as your guitar tuner. There's a built-in guitar tuner, which is always going when you have a cable plugged in. And it's very quick and also very precise as well. Let's check out the inputs. Starting with the guitar, you have the option for an XLR cable or a quarter inch cable, which I'm using. And right beside that, you can see the tuner is always going. And we have the anti-feedback feature, which is the greatest feature, my favorite feature of all on this amplifier. So it's bypassed right now, but when you press it and it's green, it's going to be listening for frequencies that are problematic that create a feedback loop. So let's try that out. screen and then it turned blue to say that it found that frequency and made a cut and notched it out and you can save up to four different EQ cuts and that is a great feature I'm so glad they added that because there are many shows where I don't have a sound guy and there are problematic frequencies that I'm fighting through the night so it just makes it really easy to check you know for not even 30 seconds at the beginning of a show and get all the EQs cut and then it gives you a little more volume to play with throughout the evening and not have to worry about feedback. So next we have the body res function. So right now it's off but you have three different flavors to choose from and you're gonna notice this more if you have a piezo pickup which I don't. I have a transducer pickup currently on my guitar but I'll try it out anyways. <laughs> just colors the sound a little bit differently but will be much more noticeable if you have a piezo pickup. Next we have the EQ starting with the bass. guitar I might need to have a little more bass, turn down the mids and give a little bit of presence. There we go. Then next we 
have the option for modulation, reverb, and delay, or echo. So the first one is chorus, and of course it's off right now, but when you turn it a little bit, it engages it. So here it is on the detune setting at full. Next we have the silk setting, which is silky smooth. And then finally we have the Corona chorus. It's quite nice actually. And next we have the reverb. There it is. Activated with the green light. There it is on full of the room setting. club on the club setting it's about full right there then we're getting into the hall hallelujah it's a beautiful reverb sound gorgeous let's try the club setting on full. Now here's the room reverb. All the reverbs sound really good. Did a great job with those and the echo as well. First we have the tape echo which is controlled by the tap tempo. Next we have the digital echo, a little bit brighter, and then we have the slap setting. So let's try that. my favorite. Now let's try and add a little bit of reverb to that. of chorus. And the three together really sound great, as you can hear. We get a lot of different options in here, playing around with these. until you find the sound you're happy with and of course you have the mute button here which mutes the entire channel this is the volume for the effects here so totally dry so you can find the perfect blend that you want guitar and put that away. And for the microphone channel, that will also take a quarter inch TRS cable or an XLR cable like the one I've got in there right now. 
and I have a condenser microphone with me. So I'm going to turn phantom power to on. The talk button is going to mute all of the effects for the channel. So we'll come back to that. We also have the anti-feedback button. And so let's try and notch out some problematic frequencies now. Might have to turn it up a little bit. There we go. As you can see, it just found the one and notched it. Let's see if we can get another two stored, three stored, and four done. Sound check is finished. <laughs> there you go, quickest sound check ever. And next, we have adaptive tone. So, if you're wondering if there was a compressor or a de-esser, well, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. <laughs> depending on who, who's watching. And it also has a gate and adaptive EQ. So you're probably not gonna be able to hear it too much on this video. So I'll just skip over that to the pitch correction. We have a chromatic pitch correction here, which you also probably will not be able to hear too much on this video. Mm -hmm. You can hear it a little bit engaged there. And next we have our harmony function, which gives you eight different vocal harmony options to choose from. So the first one that we have is a unison or a doubling effect, which is very popular in Ireland, in Dublin. <laughs> and so for this one, to engage or enable the harmony effect, you're going to want to switch that to on so it's green. There it's off. So turn that on. And unfortunately, there's no option which can compensate for a voice being out of shape like mine is. Um, but maybe they'll have that on their next amplifier. So here's the unison setting. And the next one we have is the high setting. Next we have high and higher. Next, we have low and high. Next is lower and higher. And next, we have low. We have lower. And the last option is bass and high. So you have many different vocal harmony options there. And next you have the reverb for your voice. So now it's activated with the green light. First one is a room. Next one is a club. In the club. There it is on the max setting. Now we're in the hall. Mm. 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 So it's a really nice reverb to choose from. Next we have the echo setting. So here it is off. Now on tape.
digital, 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 digital. again a little bit brighter, slap. You ain't nothing but a hand dog, crying all the time. So you have many different options to customize your sound, and if you don't want to hear the effects while you're talking, conveniently there is a switch to mute everything. Now in the back you have options for the output of those channels. So if you go to the DI setting, it's just the clear unprocessed signal of the guitar. Go down to effects it's going to process with effects on the output and a mix is going to be a mixture that it's sending out of both and you have a ground lift which is super handy and the same options for the mic side you also have a port for a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable if you want to plug in a backing track and you can adjust the level for that also the uh, same port for headphones now here is the switch that I was talking about with the tweeter on the front. So of course your cable for your foot switch. And here you have a USB port which you can go to your computer and record both channels straight to your computer and also have the playback come through the amp. Here you have the on off switch and the port for the power cable. All right, so now we're gonna get into the loop functionality. So to do this, you simply plug in this foot switch at the back and here you have the ability to enable harmony, pressing that, your vocal effects, which are customizable. So if you hold this down and you turn a knob, it's going to program that when you press it down. So you can also have it for multiple parameters. Say I want to have the reverb and echo. There you have it. Same thing with the guitar effects. So right now it's programming all three of these, but say I wanna just control the reverb or the chorus, let's say with that. Say we wanna do the chorus and reverb. There we go. And now this is the looper, but if you hold it, you can also program that one as well. So. Now I have chorus reverb here and echo there. But say I didn't want to do that and I want this to be the looper, I'm just going to hold and then push that button and we're set. So there you go. Pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So maybe I will attempt to create a basic loop demonstration for you. Keyword attempt. Press once to record, press again to play back, and then press again to overdub. to undo and redo simply by holding the looper button. Deletes the last loop and holding it will redo it. So it's really nice to have.
let's try adding some vocals on top of that. twice to stop, once again to play, and if you want to delete it, you're going to press twice and hold the second time, like that. So there you go, that's just a little basic loop for you, just showing what you can do with this. It's really amazing, and it's so great that it's versatile, and that you can change the parameters as you please, maybe on your chorus you want to have a harmony but not in the verse, and maybe you want your vocal effects to be dry in one part, or guitar effects. It's just great that everything is customizable and you can kind of program it to your liking. Choose to leave. I know that it's all for the better. If 
summary I really think it's a great product TC Helicon did a Helicon of a great job with the design and the features and the functionality and the sound and the user friendliness of it if that's even a word it's very user friendly and I also like how they made it really customizable as well with the foot switch much like a smartphone you could say it's like a smart amp in a way I didn't mention this in the video but when you record a loop the tap tempo will change based on the length of the loop and based on the tempo of the song that you play. So all of your delays are gonna match whatever you record into the looper, which is really accurate and a really cool feature as well. The sound of both is great. It's a really pristine, natural, crystal clear sound, very transparent. I think between the two, my favorite is the V100. The 10 inch speaker gives a little bit more bass and low end. And if I had to pick one thing to improve upon, or maybe two things, <laughs> Uh, would be to make it battery powered and offer Bluetooth capability, but that's not so important really. It's nice that there are so many tone shaping features to customize your sound and the reverbs, echoes, and choruses available are really natural and they sound really good. Again, the anti-feedback feature is just the best thing ever. So nice to not have to worry about feedback and you can just focus on giving your best performance. So I highly recommend it to guitarists, especially singer-songwriters. I've played a lot of amps over the years and this is by far my favorite. There's a lot to love with this amp. And I'd like to say thank you to Aaron and everybody at TC Helicon. I'd also like to thank my sponsors, Elixir Strings, Tonewood Amp, and Shove Capos. And thanks to you for watching. If you'd like to find out more information on these amazing amplifiers, you can go to www.tc-helicon.com helicon.com